I was spending almost 30% of my salary in just traveling every month. I was completely puzzled and confused. How was I going to take this forward? And it also dampened my spirits. And that is why I must emphasize that if you want to switch your job into something like this, especially if it's travel content creation, where you have to travel first to be able to make content, you must The year is 2018 and I had just quit my job. I was on my first ever solo trip to Bali. And Bali is every traveler's paradise, filled with lush paddy fields, picturesque locations, gorgeous sunsets, and every location over there just makes you feel like you're in a different world altogether. Now, I was thoroughly enjoying my trip and on a certain roundabout while driving a two-wheeler, I met with an accident. Now, what happened after that was that as soon as I got up and I realized that I was filled with bruises, I picked up my scooty and more than the pain of the bruises itself, I was feeling so embarrassed. I was uh, flushed, my cheeks were filled with blood and I could not fathom that this really had happened. I was all alone because it was a solo trip. I did not know what to do because it was my first trip internationally, that too all by myself. I did not know of the local hospital system or how the medicines worked and who I could seek help from. Now, as soon as I drove back slowly back to my hotel, I realized that I was all alone in this country. If you think that travel vlogging is interesting, let me take you on this journey and also tell you of the other side of travel vlogging and content creation. Hi everybody, my name is Tanya Khanijo and I'm a travel content creator. Now, if you've seen any of my videos on YouTube, you may have seen uh, my travels across the African continent where I was doing a 4x4 trip in Namibia or uh, traveling solo to many destinations or even climbing up to a height of 19,000 feet in Nepal while doing the Everest Base Camp trip. Now, my life so far has been filled with many experiences and beautiful adventures thanks to this career of travel content creation and vlogging on YouTube. But there are also many, many angles to it like uh, the business side of it, how do I travel itself, the practical side of traveling, especially when you're on, on your own, the filming aspect of it, and how do you even grow on YouTube? But before that, let me take you to a time where it all started from. You see, I belong to a defense family and my father was in the army. And when I was growing up, I lived in many, many locations in different places called uh, cantonments, in different towns in places called cantonments, which are like the army areas where uh, people from the army families actually live. And I had access to many sporting facilities, army schools, different friends that I made at different schools, and I've changed almost nine schools to be honest so that was quite an adventure and that entire phase of my life I remember it very fondly because we changed a lot of locations but also it was a slightly guarded life because I did live in a cantonment and made friends with people from similar cultural backgrounds who also belong to the army life now I have also studied in a few civil schools but uh, most part of my life was spent in this way when I was at least growing up but this kind of life also gave me a taste of what it's like to be traveling to different locations and meeting so many different people People and changing your friends at a gap of almost two years every every time you move a location. But my love for traveling actually got fortified, to be honest, when I joined college. So I joined an engineering college, Delhi Technological University in Delhi, and my four years in my engineering college taught me so much about myself and also my love for travel itself. Because immediately, as soon as I joined, I realized that uh, while studying was obviously the priority, and I did not ever want to get a back or <laughs> fail my exams. There was some part of me that always ached for newer experiences, even outside of my college campus. And that is when I found backpacking. So with a few college friends of mine, we would kind of plan weekend trips, little budgeted trips. And mind you, my allowance in those days used to be just 5,000 rupees. But even irrespective of that, I would save up every penny, not go to watch movies or not go out uh, in doing conventional college student activities and try and save up all of that money towards traveling, whether it was budgeted trips over the weekend or longer vacations. Now, when I was growing up, I had no idea I loved traveling so much. If you ask 10 year old me, I would probably dismiss it outright and not even believe that this is my career and I get to call traveling my job. So alongside with my job, I also started a travel travel blog back in 2016 and the first blog post that I wrote was actually about Rukun 
and I still continue traveling every once in a while as much as I could over weekends or long holidays or uh, if I could manage you know a few leaves in between any long weekends that were naturally appearing on in the calendar dates I would try and seek as many opportunities to travel as I could. Now because I was really enjoying the process of making videos the desire in me grew deeper that I want to make this my job because irrespective of how much I was making or how enjoyable my actual day job was the time that I was left with to travel or to even make videos was very limited and with my research I knew by this point of time that it, it can be a career it can potentially turn into something that I can even earn out of. Now you must be wondering that I was at a point where I loved traveling and I also discovered uh, posting videos on YouTube content creation and that it could potentially be a job and if I mix the two I could have just you know switched my job but who in their right mind would take an impulsive decision to do something like this when you're already in a comfortable job which is paying you enough and you're also able to travel alongside your job and apart from that I also knew that I was spending substantially on traveling even with my job I was spending almost 30% of my salary in just traveling every month or saving up for travel which was quite a lot of amount and that is why I must emphasize that if you want to switch your job into something like this especially if it's travel content creation where you have to travel first to be able to make content you must make it a planned decision. Now let me walk you through step by step what this career exactly demands out of you and how you must also prepare yourself if you plan to switch into a career role, something which is similar to what I do today, travel content creation. I started investing at least 15% of my salary in investments just to secure my future. I also at least started saving 30% of my salary in just traveling but I also realized that I would need things like cameras or mics to be able to make better videos because I was already making a few YouTube videos and I knew what I needed to up the quality or to up my game and to invest in uh, the, the channel itself. So I bought my first camera from my salary. I also uh, bought a few other gadgets on EMI and I calculated the EMI at the start itself so that I knew that by the time I quit my job I would have already paid them out and at that point of time I was also uploading to YouTube regularly as much as I could even if I was not traveling but if I just you know went to some place in Delhi and I made a video on it if I attended Durga Puja I made a video about it and all of these experiences taught me a little something about travel content creation that it's not just about traveling it's also about how you film it the storytelling how you convey the message to your audience and how you interact with an audience itself and that was a very valuable lesson even before I quit my job because I exactly understood what I wanted to do or what I wanted to shoot even after traveling. Planning content is a very important aspect of traveling itself and in those six months I also decided what destinations did I want to cover right after I quit my job and what message do I exactly want to convey to my audience and even in this planning process I was still publishing to YouTube consistently whether it was weekend trips or uh, local trips within Delhi where I could just show some form of culture or some form of storytelling through my videos and I'm still continuing to publish these videos uh, and for shooting my videos specifically I had uh, bought a Google Pixel at the time so for making videos at the time I remember I had purchased a Google Pixel because it was the best in market for making videos and it also had the stabilization feature which I thought was really unique in phones at that point of time so I was making most of my YouTube videos on my phone itself and I was also posting to Instagram all my photos from the phone and using this hashtag which is called uh, Team Pixel. Just because I had the phone and I was posting pictures from the phone, I, I, just used the, I just used the hashtag along with the pictures. And here's the funny thing. Out of the blue, randomly, someday, a, a Google representative actually reached out to me on my DMs and invited me to an event, which is the Google Pixel 2 launch event. Now I had no idea why was I exactly invited and I wasn't even a very big creator at the point of time let me tell you. I barely had 1000 subscribers on YouTube and probably 10,000 followers on Instagram. And uh, because I was using this particular hashtag, my photos got noticed I, and I was invited to this big event, probably one of the biggest events that I have ever attended. And this was a little before I had already quit my job. And I, at the event, I met so many big creators who were already established at that point of time, like Akshar Pathak, Larissa, Sejal Kumar, Prajakta Kohli, and even having them in the same room as me truly inspired me. And it made me feel like maybe this really is my calling and I must give myself this shot of at least trying. And even if I fail, I at least would have tried. So naturally as you would have already guessed by now I did quit my job and here I am standing in front of you today I think four or five years later already an established travel content creator 
but let me take you to through the journey of those initial days because they were a little bit of a struggle and not everything was rosy or a path which is completely laid out to me so after quitting my job from whatever savings i did have uh, i first went to mclord gunch to stay in the mountains i really wanted to experience the life of actually living on the mountains so i did that for about a month and that was a beautiful experience that taught me so much about myself and whether or not i could sustain the life of a digital nomad and still continue to make videos there were many challenges involved uh, like how i could budget my trip paying out rent for the first time also um, managing cooking and working at the same time so that was a beautiful experience and living in the mountains is may sound iconic but i also struggled honestly and i did not know if this was the right choice in terms of taking my content forward so the next destination that i had already planned and saved for even before quitting my job was bali and that is where i found myself because i knew that this is a traveler's paradise and i also did some analytical research and knew that if i made videos about destinations that travelers also wish to visit my videos will also tend to perform slightly better because other travelers would be looking for information from these destinations my second destination planned was bali for which i had already saved up while i was in my job so it was going beautifully but like i had already mentioned at the start of my trek Remember I told you that on the second day itself as a solo traveler I met with an accident. It was a two wheeler accident and I was completely puzzled and confused how was I going to take this forward and it also dampened my spirits because I felt like I was all alone how am I going to manage this I don't know how to go to a hospital here what's the local language how do I communicate what happened properly what medicines can I take for just the pain you know the pain relief at that point of time the medicines the scientific names everything is different around here and i reached out to my best friend who's also a doctor now an md uh, and i asked her about scientific names that i could find locally and she helped me out with it so i went to a chemist the next day i had some medicines and i slept on it actually mostly more than anything and when i woke up i realized that you know these things are going to happen it's not always going to be easy that is how i also got my first ever collaboration with the tourism board because right after publishing all the videos from bali an agency which is from india noticed me and my videos because i was probably one of the first few female solo travelers who was traveling and posting to youtube and sharing of my experiences so i was offered to travel to taiwan with the tourism board which i thought was an incredible opportunity at the point of time there was a time where i was invited to youtube next up which again gave a huge boost to my learning and my experiences and i started uh, p- p- putting out even better videos and there was also a point of time where i uh, worked on a consultancy project with youtube that helped me on almost 13000 So all in all I think it's been a great journey so far. There have been a lot of ups and downs but my only take away from it is that first of all it should always be a planned decision. Always do it only if you genuinely truly want to do it and don't just make it an impulsive decision because it may not always be as straight forward as you can imagine. Agar aap is stock ke end tak pahunch chuke hain to main aapko jo stocks ka ek dusra roop bhi dikhana chahta hu. जिससे मैं काफ़ी देर से जुड़ा हुआ हूं और मुझे बहुत बहुत ज़्यादा पसंद है कि वो क्या कर रहे हैं जो स्टॉक्स ने एक नया ऐप लॉन्च किया है जिसका नाम है जोश स्किल्स अब वो नया नहीं रहा काफ़ी टाइम से है लाखों लोग उसको अब यूज़ करते हैं और जोश स्किल्स पे आप अपनी ज़िंदगी के लिए कोर्सेज ढूंढ सकते हैं वो कोर्स नहीं जो आपको फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री कॉमर्स बिजनेस स्टडीज पढ़ाएंगे वो कोर्सेज जो आपकी ज़िंदगी में आपको कैसे जीना चाहिए वो सिखाएंगे मैंने खुद जो स्किल्स पे बहुत सारे कोर्सेज बनाए हैं पब्लिक स्पीकिंग पे इमोशनल क्राइसिस कैसे हैंडल किया जाए अपनी पर्सनालिटी कैसे डेवलप की जाए हर एक कोर्स में डेली क्विजेस हैं एक्सरसाइजेस हैं एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत कम्युनिटी है जो आपको सपोर्ट करेगी आपको इनकरेज करेगी आज ही डाउनलोड करें जो स्किल्स का ऐप और उनके कोर्सेज एक्सप्लोर करके अपनी जिंदगी को आगे बढ़ाएं